Hey everybody, this is Bitchin' and Prayin', and this is an Aldi haul. Um, I actually went there to pick up like one thing, and then I had um thought about a Meyer haul that I or a Meyer video that I had done showing some gaps in the shelves, and after talking to my friends that worked there and them saying they hadn't been able to get in some things and how things had started disappearing after the mask mandated, some workplaces had gone in and the signage had changed, I decided to do um, a pantry stack up. My pantry has, is fairly stacked up because I am, what I say is an everyday prepper, but I decided to do um, a little bit topping off and um, because you know, I, I wait for the sale on the soup. I wait for the sale on the vegetables. There just hasn't, they haven't been having those at different places. Um, they haven't been having, the sale ads have been pretty thin. And I noticed when I was at Meyer that these certain things were kind of empty. Um, a lot of them I didn't show on the video. The video, there was, there was people like right where I wanted to show things. So I just kind of skim through it. I don't know if you'll see that video before or after this. But anyhow, that's why um, I got these certain things here. This is a prepper pantry top off. Uh, some of the things I wouldn't have gotten quite so much of at one time, but I decided if I couldn't find some of these at the other stores, other people won't and they'll go to Aldi and maybe they won't be there next time. And Aldi has been raising their prices like seems like week by week if I just stop in there for something. So I decided to grab them before they um, raise their prices. And they're putting a new store in our town. Um, and I guess they're gonna leave both of them open, but just in case they decide, decide to do a price raise anymore, or raise anymore, I'm gonna to decide to top off my pantry now to be safe. Anyhow, uh, green beans. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought I got eight cans. I guess I got seven cans. I think I put one back and got something else. Uh, seven cans, I'm gonna put them aside. I'm kind of prepping ahead for Thanksgiving. Since, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So I'm prepping ahead for Thanksgiving. I'm getting green beans, uh, cannellini beans. We, I'm Italian. I can't say that. I never have been able to say that word. Uh, white kidney beans. i um, got two cans of those. I use those in goulash. Three cans of chili beans. I got um, 12 of uh, sweet peas down there. 49 cents. 58 cents. 59 cents and the green beans were 49 um, cents also. Almost forgot to say the prices. A uh, thing of panko crumbs, 89 cents. Uh, two things of stuffing mix, 69 cents. I like the chicken better than the turkey. Putting that aside for um, Thanksgiving also. Eight things of the um, cinnamon applesauce and that is $1.35. That, I said this before in the videos, actually comes out cheaper than getting the bigger jars because the jars that they have have these bottoms in them. You cannot get the applesauce out unless you don't put like half the thing of water in there. It comes out runny. You might as well have juice. I've tried everything. Um, I haven't seen the regular flat bottom glass jars in forever. Ounce for ounce, this comes out cheaper for me, um, even than the big box at Sam's Club, unless they raise the price here. So I grabbed eight of them. Uh, to stack up and portion control um, but ounce for ounce it still comes out cheaper because we could not get it out even with a spatula and adding a little water out of the other ones so anyhow this is what works for me uh, soups 50 cents a can I got uh, I think I got eight cream of mushroom and two cream of chicken I got four of the diced tomatoes those were 59 cents uh, the ones with the green chilies in them. Um, I'm going to make a dump cake. This one, I don't, this one's not for, really for the prepper pantry. This is for coming up sometime soon. I got, um, those were $1.95. Um, they used to be able to find the cherry pie filling at Dollar Tree and I haven't for a long time. And Dollar General is actually two something last time I looked and I haven't found any cheaper anywhere else. Um, $1.95 for the big can of cherry pie filling, 85 cents for the classic white cake mix. We like their cake mix. Uh, 39 cents for the taco mix. I got four of them to, um, that's the rest of this is all prepper pantry. 
30 cents a can for the tomato sauce. Um, now, I have found that cheaper at Walmart, but like I said last time I was at Walmart, I don't know if I said it or you'll hear it in another video, there were a bunch of big gaps also, and they may have raised their prices a penny or two also. And I didn't want to wait and then not be able to get the stuff there. So I picked it up here. And if I see that it, they've replenished or are able to get stuff, I'll pick up a few more there. All right. Here's the second part. Um, three packages of um, sausages just for a little extra meat. Ten count, uh, 95 cents each. Two boxes of mashed potatoes of the flakes, not our favorite, but just to have on hand in the pantry, $1.25 each, the big box, $1.15 for the um, regular size chocolate frosting, Dollar Tree does have it, but it's a small one, and then it's more expensive at like $1.45 and up at the uh, Myers, Walmart, all that for the other ones. Um, $0.84 cents a box for Imperial. Um, and I do cook with that. Um, I do have some butter in my freezer also that I bought when it was on sale. Really cheap. But I cook with this. Um, this is a 20 count of the regular size for $1.99. That's going to be an emergency one I throw in there. I know some people make their own. I make my own sometimes. This is an emergency one. Um, I tried to, I was picking them up at the dollar, or I mean at the, the Dale Bread Store or Aunt Millie's or whatever you call it. Um, and they haven't had them in a long time. They were really cheap there. That's going to go in the freezer. Like, it doesn't take up hardly any room. Um, my ice cream, I have to get back in the freezer. $1.85. Save all the dump cake. Um, that was $2.19. I don't have okay, to my receipt. Two nineteen dollars for the oil to have an extra oil on hand. I was buying the big things at Sam's Club. The doubles. And... I'm going to have to check the prices there, but I decided to grab one of these because in the Meyer video, if you see it, there, theirs was all gone, and I just decided to grab one to add to it, and I'll be checking um, oil prices different places. Spinach, that's for regular use, $1.19. Salt, going to make sure I have um, salt in my pantry, $0.40. Cents. That's regular salt. That's an uh, evaporated, not a condensed, evaporated milk. I like to have a couple extras of those. That was $0.65. Cents. Now, I always make sure I get the farthest out data and everything. Um, a beef broth, $1.15. three seventy nine dollars for the large 30.5-ounce coffees. I got two of those. Um, two cream cheese. One's for the dump cake, one's for regular use. $0.79 cents each. These are like the craft Singles, the comparable ones. They're not the, what do you call it, imitation cheese food. Not that. These are $1.35. Um, this is the best deal on ground beef I could find anywhere. It's been so high. It's been $3.99 around here is all I could find. This is the $73.27, but it's pretty good. Um, we just had some. This is $2.99 a pound. Um, I picked up one pizza because the prices of pizzas have gone up. I picked up one frozen one to add to what I had, and that was $2.39. The pepperonis are more than the sausage. But I got that. Uh, two nineteen for the corn dogs, two seventy five for the eight pack of burritos. I'm just kind of even like just snack foods. I'm stocking up on um, one fifty nine, one fifty four for the two pounds of fries. And I noticed when I was at Myers that they didn't have the like big round thing of oats that I've been getting, and neither did Aldi's. Um, I was going to get them at Aldi's, but I just happened to notice that at Myers. And they only had the expensive um, little packets. So I got them here. It's 10 packs for $1.39. So I grabbed two of them because that's what I eat in the morning. So this is my total. That's the total. I think I've got everything. I had to get stuff back out of the freezer and refrigerator. Anyhow, this was $95 and some odd cents for the other, the other countertop that I showed you and this total. So that's actually not too bad for everything. Um, I generally would not do this big of a thing at one time, but I said, you know what? I am going to top everything off. So, and that is a big thing of me. And I mean, you take a look at everything I got. There's that. 
and going down. And that, to me, that seems like $95. I should have a whole bunch more. But anyhow, that's what I got. Hopefully I'll get some more deals this week to finish topping stuff off. You guys have a great day. This is Bitchin' and Prayin'. Don't forget to give this a like and a share. And have a blessed day. Bless somebody when you can. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to top off your prepper pantry. Keep it keep it topped off all the time. Pick up like every time you go to the store, pick up one or two extra things now just in case. Think of what was missing, you know, last time when people got a little worried and just pick up one or two of those things just, just in case. I wouldn't worry, but just in case, top off your or start a little pantry if you don't have one. And if you do have one, just rotate your old stuff to the front and top off that back. And I'm wandering, I'm wandering slowly towards my hallway there. I was looking, I was, I was making a face like a just in case face. I'm crazy. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.